today we will begin with releasing our attachment to our emotional body. Our attachment to our emotions, imagine that. And so in that, I'd like to offer you this thing that we call the rule of the Nawal. And it has three parts to it. And the first part of the rule of the Nawal is don't go against yourself. The second part is don't create circumstances that go against yourself. And the third is don't align with someone who's going against you. Don't go against yourself. Don't create circumstances that go against yourself. Don't align with someone who is going against you. And we all do those things. Every time this idea of going against yourself, what we're trying to do here is create a wedge for you to be able to consider the possibilities of what it means to go against yourself. For example, one of the things that, that we've we, st we just barely touched on, but I think is so extraordinary, is the use of your voice. Impeccability of the word. You know, impeccability of the word is one of the four agreements. And as we talked about, we have this notion that the out uh, out and out lie, the hardcore lie, is a bad thing. And our morals police usually keep us from lying unless our face is involved and we need to save face and then we somehow justify it, yeah. But the truth is, we use the word against ourselves like crazy. We use the word against ourselves when we say judgmental thoughts about ourselves or about anybody else. Now, the interesting thing about judgment, we've been talking about it a lot, and it has so many faces we need to expose, is I want you, just for a second, and please forgive me, I'd like you to think about somebody you really don't like, just for a second, or something you don't like, or some food you don't like, and really just hold your focus for a second about this thing you don't like. Because all of us have these things. And feel what it feels like in your body to have that thought. I can't stand that. What does that feel like? The judgment never hurts someone else. Never. It only hurts us. The idea of judgment and its uh, first cousin revenge or payback or they did this to me, and therefore I am justified in having bad thoughts. Somebody did something icky. They were disrespectful, they were unkind, and I am now justified in my judgment of them. It's like eating rat poison and assuming it's going to hurt somebody else. Judgment is like eating rat poison, loves. The only person it is hurting is you. So we say, don't judge, it's really going to screw up your spiritual path. But guess what? The reason it's going to do that, aside from all the obvious things like separation, like the fact that it's not holy, stuff like that, is it's eating rat poison. So when this rule of the Nawal that says, don't go against yourself, is saying, honey, don't eat rat poison. And then we get so hyper about it. And we say, gosh, you're hurting me. Gosh, you are hurting me. And who's eating the rat poison? Who went down to Ace Hardware and bought themselves the rat poison? Every time, we're, you know, we're, we have such thoughts on, they did it to me. The victim, they did it to me. And then the victim justifies themselves in becoming the perpetrator with the judgment. The victim justifies the perpetrator, which is sort of at the uh, root of what Lee was talking about yesterday, of the whole, if you're going to play, what's in it for you to play like that? More rat poison. Yumzo. Give me some of that rat poison. And then we take it personally. When someone goes, gosh, honey, gosh, honey, do you really want to do that? <coughs> Someone does something 
inconsiderate. Someone does something inconsiderate and we think it has something to do with us. Inconsideration has nothing to do with us, it has to do with the other human. Someone withdrawing love has nothing to do with us. It is somebody else's choice to love or not to love, to be present or not be present. Why on earth would we take that personally? It has nothing, it could never have anything to do with us, ever, not for one second. Our personal importance, Toltec word, personal importance says that it's all about us. It is absolutely impossible. But we all collectively believe that at some way or another. At some level or another, in some hidden place or another, we believe that and it is not true. We talk about how we base our life on lies, my loves. And the lie that we could be so powerful as to affect another person's choice about love within them. We think to show power is to show might. And I can guarantee you there is nothing more difficult, more challenging, more powerful, and more rewarding than the decision to practice love. It takes extraordinary tenacity in the face of fear to practice love. So, don't go against yourself. Imagine that. And you think, well, gosh, I don't go against myself because I judge and that keeps me safe because I have this wall between me and other. Well, guess what? You just cut yourself off from the great joy of feeling the love coming out of you for no reason because it is your pleasure to love. 